Hello, everyone. I want to touch briefly on something that keeps coming across our feeds. One of the, another question that a lot of people are asking about as more people wake up and start to get a little better understanding of the spiritual battle that we're in. Because it, it, it really is between good and evil. Now, spirituality itself is difficult to put into specific words because it is very unique and individual, as I have said before, to the person experiencing it. Now, there are a lot of things out there that are designed to, you know, to help you. And then some things, unfortunately, not so much. But when you have that personal relationship with the Godhead and you are with him all the time and you trust him first and foremost, he will show you what you need to see. I have said, I'll, I will say that as many times as I need to, because truly when you're coming out of, out from under that cloud of cognitive dissonance and you stay with him, he will show you what you need to see literally and you don't want to take it lightly because the demon spirits are dark and they are extremely negative many of us who have encountered a group of narcissists if you will now as I've said before though just because you can sense that negative energy that's around that particular group doesn't mean that everybody in that group is a narcissist because we have to remember social psychology plays a major role in them because the spiritual energy transfer that takes place between people it's very real and it not many people are aware of it. I mean, scripture even tells us there's going to be many crept in unawares. And it is also why we are warned in scripture to be careful who you associate with. You want to be mindful. And once we learn all those red flags, we get, you know, we start to pick them up. But one of the ones to pay attention to when you sense that negative energy is what's taking place and are they gossiping and it's all negative talk, complaining, that's a big one right there. They're complaining about something. You or someone else says, well, hey, you know, here's the good side to it. And no matter what, they will, the justification that come out of their mouth to, to make that positive good thing like go away because it made them uncomfortable, you can see that if you're paying attention. You try to suggest a solution and they will give you a ton of reasons why it won't work. And then a lot of times they'll turn around and, and, and borrow it and take credit for it. it. Doesn't matter. That's fine. But when you sense that, that your radar should perk. And that's when you want to be really, really vigilant. Because... Again, in scripture, we're told about that mindfulness of the mouth. That thinking before you speak. And usually to always, I had put a Sabbath day message out a while ago about that. Because it is so easy to get sucked into that negative conversation. That's why we're to let the foolish speaking first. Pay attention. Listen. Let that gut will tell you 
if they're trying to pull you down. See, anybody who has positive light, the good spirit, the Holy Spirit, when they walk into a room full of dark spirits and negative energy, those demon spirits, they get nervous. And you can see that too. They get nervous because as many of us know, one of the biggest fears of the narcissist is fear of exposure. Now I talk a little bit more about that in my space called The Devil and Narcissism on Quora. And that link is also on my webpage. I'll have all of that information included in the video description. And it's also on the channel description. If you want to go over there and read a little bit more, what we do over there is, you know, we work together, we connect scripture to that negative energy and to the behaviors of the narcissist. And if you've listened to any other videos of mine, you'll know what we're talking about. But that negative energy, they are aware and they're unaware. I know. Cognitive dissonance. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Now I'm confused. Now, I'm going to break it down for you real quick. Because of that flip the script that is going on in society where narcissism is being normalized, and I'm going to touch a lot more on that in the coming videos and newsletters, whatever, because it is being normalized, and there's a reason for that. It is so that the good guys, because we're already being painted as bad guys, but it is, it, it's eerie to watch, but it's happening. And part of it thinks it's been happening for a very long time. Because you normalize narcissism and that just keeps every, it keeps everyone under that cloud of confusion and it keep, it keeps them deceived. Because in the Bible, it tells us that deception is what the devil has to do to trick everyone into worshiping him instead of our Heavenly Father. And there are a lot of ways that he's doing that. But these narcissists they think, because of this flip the script, they think that the energy that they are experiencing or putting out, they think it's positive. They don't know that it's negative. I'm, I'm telling you, they don't. There are some higher up narcissists, the spiritual weakness in high places, you know, they do, they, they engage in it on purpose. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about on the ground. The ones that we have to deal with all the time. They don't know that that is negative. They actually think it's positive. So when we walk in the room and make them nervous, they think that we're the negative energy when we're not. Although part of me, I think the older ones kind of start to catch on and realize because they can see, they, they get confused because we're not doing or behaving the same way they are. So they, they get confused about that. But they truly are the ones who are crept in unawares. And we were told we were told about this. And that is the other reason why we gotta remain vigilant and mentally sober all the time out there. Because you never know where they are. They they'll come out when you least expect it a lot of times too. But one of the ways you can tell that someone's got that dark spirit on them. It's usually having a normal conversation, right? Nothing really out of the ordinary. But let's just say you say something that's good. It's positive. It is a statement of fact and truth and observation. <clears throat> and the person with the demon spirit will, if they got offended, and most of the time they do, they will pick something they know about you or something from 10 years ago and suddenly attack you with it. 
in an attempt to try to make you feel guilty for doing the right thing or saying the right thing or speaking truth. For that matter, they will attack you. That person's got a demon spirit. And you learn real quick. And just stop talking to them. Because they will take your words and twist them in every direction. And then, you know the old game when we were growing up, whispering in someone's ear, like 10 people, and by the time it gets back to the person who said it, it's not even what the person said. Classic. That's how it goes with narcissists in this system of narcissism. But that darkness, they actually don't know. A lot of them don't. And that's because of the cognitive dissonance. And like I've said before, they're the ones who suffer the most from that confusion. That's why they project it on anyone they can. Because they're very, very, very uncomfortable. Again, because they're not connected. Mind, body, and spirit. They're not emotionally regulated at all. They're still that three to five year old emotionally trying to sort through all of those because you got we have got to remember that those demon spirits they often you know they they're just they're just circling around looking for that host i've said that before i'll say it again and they will attach themselves to whoever leaves an opening in the mind and if your mind isn't with the Godhead it is really really easy to get sucked into it so they know when we come along the only reason they would even question if there's anything wrong with them is when someone like us who we're not abusive and we don't engage in that in fact, we like, like tell you, knock it off. They don't know how to handle it. They prefer to stay in their little bubble. And personally, I like to leave them there. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, go away. But that's really the gist of it. It's that, it's that feeling you get. You just have to, when you enter in wherever, and you, you get hit with an energy that doesn't sync with your vibe. But see, that negative energy is on that low vibe. That's that's where they're most comfortable. But anything that's vi anyone or anything that's vibing higher. And it's those of us with the Godhead and that heart want to do the right thing. We're not saints by any means because we're all sinners. That's why we always need to turn to the Heavenly Father and ask forgiveness. But they don't do that. So we upset their negativity and, we, and you can feel it. You can just feel it. That's the only way I can explain it. And so then you just know that they're on a lower vibe and just stay vigilant and do whatever you can to not let them pull you down there. Because they will if you let them. So, let's give the gratitude to the Heavenly Father for helping us learn this. Become more aware. That heightened awareness. Because he'll, he'll get you where you need to be. You have to trust him. It's a process. And don't beat yourself up if you fall off sometimes. Because... It happens. But you ask him for forgiveness and you get back on that horse and you keep on riding. So, a little gratitude to the Heavenly Father. You keep being you. In Jesus' name. Amen.